Hey everyone, Frank here. Today I'm doing a head-to-head -head comparison of two popular background removal and background blurring products. The first is ChromaCam by Personify. The other is VCam by XSplit. I should say right off the bat that I have not been compensated by either company for this content. I have purchased both products with my own money. With that out of the way, uh, the format of this head-to-head -head is going to come in the form of test footage, first with ChromaCam, then VCam, followed up by streaming footage of both using a Sega Genesis game called Street Fighter II Special Champion Edition. And after all of that, I will come back with my final thoughts. So without further ado, let's get to the test footage. All right, here's my ChromaCam test footage. I think it's doing a pretty good job immediately of uh, keeping my face and my shoulders in the frame. Uh, if I move my head around, artifacts become apparent. So clearly it's not perfect, but if I uh, sit somewhat still and just speak toward the camera, I think it's, it's doing a really good job when I do that. You're a game streamer and you're interested in background removal it does it, it does an okay job with that as well again not perfect but it'll, it'll certainly do the job one thing i'd like to demonstrate is this is what my backdrop is right now it's a very sunny day uh, i have a, a backdrop that's not consistently one color and the lighting is is not optimal. I think in, in your use case, if the lighting was better and you had a, a smoother backdrop, you'd probably have better results. But I, you know, my environment is what my environment is. There's not a lot I can do about it right now, maybe in the future. And with that in mind, this is the uh, output that I get from ChromaCam. I think if I had to give it a rating, I'd probably give it somewhere between a seven or an eight um it's very hard for me to tell i i think i think i'll call it a seven out of ten just because there's room for improvement and with that i'm going to uh end this test footage and move on to the vcam test footage and then after that i will do test footage showing both of them doing game streaming so you can see what the whole talking head in the corner situation will look like. All right, and here's the VCam test footage. I think it's doing a pretty good job of keeping my face and my shoulders in the frame and not losing too much in the way of artifacting when I move from side to side or back and forth. We switch to a green screen removal. You can see that uh, artifacts are a little bit more apparent, but it still doesn't look too bad. And you have to imagine that during an actual use case of this view, uh, my image would be shrunk down to about 10% of its side into one of the corners, and people would be paying more attention to the content in the main field of view anyway. So I think VCam actually looks really good. Um, you've already seen how challenging my room conditions are. So in that regard, I think I would give it a solid 8 out of 10. Uh, I hesitate to give it a 9, but some, let's say 8, 8.5 out of 10. All right, we're going to see how ChromaCam and VCam compare when in a game streaming environment. This is Street Fighter II Special Champion Edition for the Sega Genesis. I will play round one with ChromaCam and round two with VCam. That'll at least let him think he's going to win. All right, I've enabled VCam.
just refuses to lose. All right, and that was my comparison of Chroma Cam and VCam for game streaming footage. I'll see you in a little bit with my final thoughts. So, final thoughts. Both of these products are good, but not perfect. Your own room setup and hardware is going to dictate what works best for you. Bear in mind, you'll be doing yourself a favor if you record in a well-lit room with a consistent backdrop. You'll also have better results if you don't move around a lot when speaking. For the single use case of a plain background blur, I think I prefer Chroma Cam. It makes the process simple and motion artifacts aren't obvious in this use case. However, I have to call VCam the overall winner in this head-to-head. -head. The comparative lack of motion artifacts makes its background replacement output more pleasing in both full screen and talking head scenarios. I also prefer its wealth of settings adjustments. I hope this video was helpful to those of you that are deciding between these two useful programs. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and I'll be happy to respond to them. So with that, I'm out of here. Until next time, see ya!